diventata più veloce ognuno per le sue. All right, people, you already know it's chaos. One game skid over 300 BC. We had over 11,000, but we put it into. I'm just kidding, our my player. So we're matched up with Kiai. Yeah, let's just do it random. Whatever team you land on, on the count of three, that's what team you are. Come on, let's have some fun with it. On the count of three, ready? Come on. Are you a man? You want to accept the challenge for the YouTube Nation? Because you're on YouTube right now, so come on. Or we're just going to have to embarrass you on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Never use this team. I ain't gonna quit. I'm having some fun with it. I don't give a fuck. Sapevi che il mio primo disco ha fatto la storia, ma dopo i suoi ancora scioccato per quanto ho visto. Il mio flow vi ha benedetto. Sì. 2012 è la svolta, ma The Crew mi guarda le spalle tipo la scorta. A capo come John Gotti, sveglio tutte le notti. Vivevo in una casa con il bagno di. Nice to meet you, have a good game, bro. All right, let's get it. Let's have a good one. Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. Along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And now we take a brief check at the matchup. Our starting five for both teams. And as we take a look here at Joe Johnson, guys, uh, what do you think? And no discussion about him is complete until you talk about Joey his sensational pass. I mean, he is an absolute wizard From with the, the ball in his hands. For the Jazz in this matchup, they got to be feeling pretty good as they won that last downing against Portland. Teddy Gobert. Well, that was a very physical game, and, it, and I think that plays into their hands. So a lot of their points came at the foul line. And it also led to a lot of foul trouble for some of the key guys they were up against. So we can't forget about that part of it either. Uncle Joey's going to run the show. You know, his ability is matched only by his energy, guys. I mean, he's usually in the middle of everything for his team. Uh, Turner with the steal. Lillard, the pass to Nurkic. Uncle Joey. Hammers it home to polish off Why the break. Why do that, Uncle Joey? And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, <laughs> if, I, if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering Very some late. instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. On defense, the Trailblazers. Four-point game. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. And what a heck of a performance for them, particularly offensively. I mean, there were stretches of that game where everything seemed to be falling. Ball movement was superb, majestic. And they got good shots, and they made them. So it wasn't a surprise, but the ball movement was the key. There's some good defense for you. Somebody who's as good at shooting the three as he is, you need a defender who's equally adept at guarding against him. That was well done. I, I like that. They obviously put the right guy on him. Really, uh, the right play defensively if you can't. Teddy Gobert, Ronnie, Reggie, and Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. 
give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Terry Stutz. Kevin, speaking to him about their game plan, he said it is all about taking care of the ball and not forcing anything. He said the one team that beats us more than any other is ourselves. If it gets sloppy on offense, then it'll be a very tough game for us to win. It's something I stressed to them before the game. Let's see if they heard the message. Hey, thank you, Doris. Uh, do you guys think their shooting will play as important a role as the coach made it sound? Uh, it usually does. And for them to have that success shooting the basketball, well, I, I think it's going to be all about creating those high-quality chances. Which means they need constant yeah. movement off the ball and crisp passing. I mean, that's the way you get good looks. McCollum kicks to Hartless. Portland moving the ball around. Turner dishes to Lillard. Drills it from outside. Lillard's got five now. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. Harkless kicks to McCollum. He feeds it to Harkless. McCollum with the ball, guarded now by Rubio. In transition, here come the jam. And it's Mitchell with the jam. It's as if the defense just let him go. Um, he'll thank them for that because he got a chance to perform a little razzle-tassle on that one. Now here's Harkless. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those if that's how they're going to deal. Feeds to Mitchell. Rubio, the pass to Cephalosha. They get the rebound. Kicks it out to Rubio. He dishes it to Mitchell. Dives for it. Utah gets it back. The three from Cephalosha. Shot is no good. Last outing for Utah, it was a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, their defense got sliced and, and diced in that game. They just weren't closing down on perimeter shooters. Not nearly quick enough. And then they gave up All right, their fair share of those point blank shots on the interior the as right. well. Something was clearly a miss for them, Greg. I mean, to let an opponent shoot that high a percentage, you got to take a real long look in the mirror after a game like that. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Yeah, it's got to be concerned with all the missed shots here. And every team goes through cold streaks. You just got to figure out a way to stay productive. And the best way to do that when you're missing shots is to get to the foul line. Be aggressive, get to the foul line, and knock down some of those freebies, and the tide can turn for you. That free throw, good from Turner. Both well, free throws good from Turner. Here's Hood. He's coming off a 16-point game against Minnesota. Here's Ingles. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Ingles has got his first points in this one. And Lillard gets double-teamed. McCollum. Utah with the rebound. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to no the basket. Foul. But on that one, they were there. Pass to Harkless. Cranking it by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Harkless has got five. Here's Gobert. The finger roll finish at the bucket. The fuck in there. They've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Harkless kicks to McCullough. A three-pointer off the mark. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. He kicks it to Hood. Here's Ingles. And he's good on the three ball. That's all the spot. Back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. So timeout called here. The first for Portland.
have to win. Talk it up. In a moment. That's a win.